If you've been using Adobe Captivate 2019 release for a little while now, you'll probably realize that you have, of course, a properties panel that can be opened up. Additional tabs, or panels if you will, will appear depending on what you have selected. For example, you can see here that I have my properties inspector, along with the timing and position panel, because of course I've selected fluid boxes, and that's something I could also change. In this case though, I'd like to undock my properties panel and keep it separate from the timing and position panel. But as you can see, this is just not available to me. Well, there is actually a way that you can turn on the capability of undocking your panels and also creating your own custom workspaces. Let me show you. So if I click on the edit dropdown menu and make my way all the way to the bottom where it says preferences, Alternatively, I can press Shift F8. This will open my Preferences window. Now, under General Settings, which is the first option that you'll see, uh, you'll see that there is a checkbox for Enable Custom Workspaces slash Panel Undocking. And of course, it includes an additional message informing you that you'll need to restart Captivate for this to take effect. Let's go ahead and check this and click OK. I'm going to shut down Adobe Captivate. And now I'll relaunch Adobe Captivate 2019 release. And let's just create a new responsive design project. And you can see now that I can select the properties inspector or properties panel and undock it from the other panels that are located there. In fact, I can keep it free and floating like this or I can dock it into its own position separate from those. I like this because sometimes when I'm working on a fluid box responsive design, I can select a fluid box, but also see the position panel at the same time and very quickly select the fluid boxes individually and make changes to their height or width. 